got all the heart in the world, but if you're going to survive, you're going to need some skill. Both of you guys are immensely talented, very intelligent black men. I respect you so much. So to see both of you on screen together, this is a treat. How was it working together? One of the things that I've always respected and loved about him as an actor is that Terrence has an intensity about him where he knows how to say everything he's saying without words. There's a saying that silence speaks. And him being my cellmate, sensei that's going to teach me and train me how to get into this dungeon and fight for my life, literally, you know, if I were to give you all of my other choices that they threw at me, I was like, mm, Terrence Howard, if he's available, let's go. I mean, it's like, how many people do you know that you have that, that you can call and say, hey, I got to go do a couple months in prison. Will you come and do this time with me? Because <laughs> <laughs> we were shooting in a real prison. You know, this, uh, you're like, wait a minute. Hold on, what are you talking about, man? You like, want me hey, to go Terrence, to a Mississippi prison? Terrence, it's been a minute, man. Can you come to jail with me? <laughs> <laughs> I recently but, heard someone say that you spell love, T-I-M-E, right? You give people that you love your time. So I, I think that speaks value that you guys gave each other your time, literally, <laughs> um, for this. Yeah, because you hey, had that you time. Tell you time about doing time. Listen, it, I was in therapy for almost three months after I did this film because I could not shake the vile, toxic racism energy on me. Like, you know, people was like, oh, man, you all right? Like, I could just find myself just sitting in the corner, just like, you know, just feeling it. So even though I'd left that environment and I came back home, you know, private chef and all this environment, nothing about me coming home shook the energy of what I had just experienced. You know, I was mentally, emotionally, psychologically traumatized, you know, and the level of racism and, and slavery and imprisonment and this just this mental, emotional, physical beatdown of Black people in Mississippi, just like I carried all of that. And, you know, Terrence did too walking out of there and seeing the disenfranchised nature of, of my brothers and sisters. And that stays with you and it makes you want to do more.